Hello and welcome to this first video in what will be a series of videos on how we can solve differential equations. Differential equations are a big part of many different areas of engineering. And so it's important that as engineers we're able to understand and solve equations of this type. In this video we're going to start with some simple examples and the examples that we're going to look at are going to be in this form dy by dx is equal to a function of x or f of x. Our objective is to solve this equation so that it's in the form y equals and we're starting with this particular form of differential equation because we'll see that it's not too difficult to solve. For a differential equation in this form we would simply integrate both sides. If we integrate dy by dx with respect to x then the result is simply y. And on the right hand side we now have our function of x integrated with respect to x. Let's apply this to a numerical example and suppose we have this equation here dy by dx is equal to 5x and we want to find our solution in the form of y equals. So following what we said previously we're going to integrate both sides and that's going to leave us with uh, y equals the integral of 5x with respect to x and if we integrate 5x with respect to x we get 5 over 2 x squared plus c. That c on the end is our unknown constant because we're performing an indefinite integral. So at this stage we've done all we can with the information we've been given. We found our solution in the form y equals but we don't know the value of this unknown constant. This is what we call the general solution to our differential equation and it's as far as we can go with the information that we've been given. But let's suppose that we're told something else. Let's suppose that we're also told that when x equals 0, y equals 1. If that's the case, we can substitute our values for x and for y into our equation to find the value of c. And in this case, we find that the value of c is 1. And so now we can rewrite our solution in the form of y equals 5 over 2 x squared plus 1. This is what we call our particular solution. And notice that we've needed a little bit more information to help us find the particular solution compared to the general solution that we saw before. Let's have a look at another example. In this case we have 4 dy by dx plus 3x equals 2. So one thing to mention at this point is that the two examples that we've seen so far are what we call first order differential equations. And the reason being is because they involve this first differential as part of the equation dy by dx. If we also had the second differential d squared y by dx squared then that would be what's known as a second order differential equation. And we'll look at how we can solve second order differential equations in a later video as well. Let's also suppose that we're told that when x equals 2, y equals 2.5. We'll need that information later on as well. Let's start by rearranging this equation so that the dy by dx term is by itself on the left hand side. So we now have 4dy by dx equals minus 3x plus 2. And we'll also divide both sides by 4. So we're left with dy by dx by itself. And that's equal to minus 3x over 4 plus 2 over 4. So at this point we can do the same as we did in our previous examples. We can integrate both sides. And we find that the integral of dy by dx with respect to x is simply y. And the integral of our uh, two terms on the right hand side will come to minus 3 over 8 x squared plus a half x and not forgetting to add the unknown constant c on the end because we're performing an indefinite integral. So again this is our general solution but we don't know the value of this unknown constant. 
We remember, though, that we were given the additional information that when x equals 2, y equals 2.5. And so what we can do is we can substitute those values in to our equation for x and for y. And when we solve um, that equation for c, we find that c equals 3. So finally, we can write the particular solution of this first order differential equation as y equals minus 3 over 8 x squared plus a half x plus 3. Let's have a look at one more example in this video. And here we have the expression x dy by dx equals 4 minus 2x cubed. And let's suppose we're also told that when x equals 1, y equals 1 over 3 or a third. So again, just like in our previous examples, we'll rearrange this expression so that the dy by dx term is by itself on the left-hand side of the equation. And so we have something that looks like this. dy by dx equals 4 over x minus 2x cubed over x. We've divided both sides by x there. And we can simplify that um, because 2x cubed over x is just 2x squared. So we now have 4 over x minus 2x squared on the right-hand side. Again, we'll integrate both sides. So integrating the left-hand side, we're just left with y. And on the right-hand side, we have the integral of two terms, 4 over x, we're going to integrate, and this minus 2x squared term, we're going to integrate as well with respect to x. So one little side note, just to bear in mind, if you weren't already aware, when we integrate something in the form of, let's call it n over x, this could be any, any number, but uh, integrating n over x with respect to x, we get uh, n times the natural logarithm of x when we integrate. And so we'll apply that same rule here. Uh, when we integrate 4 over x, we're going to get 4 times the natural logarithm of x for ln x. And minus 2x squared is going to integrate to minus 2x cubed over 3. And then not forgetting again, it's an indefinite integral, so we're adding plus c onto the end. So here we have our general solution. And again, we're going to use this additional information, um, x equals 1 and y equals a third, to move to our particular solution. So we'll do that by substituting our values for x and y into our equation here. We have uh, a third or 1 over 3 for y being equal to 4 ln 1, the natural logarithm of 1, minus 2 times 1 cubed over 3 plus c. On the right-hand side, the natural logarithm of 1 is 0. And so really we're seeing 4 times 0 here, which is just 0. And 2 times 1 cubed, well, 1 cubed is still 1, so we're left with 2 over 3 or minus 2 over 3 uh, plus c. And so that rearranges to find that c is equal to 1. And so finally, our particular solution is our general solution again, um, y equals 4 uh, log x minus 2x cubed over 3. But now we know the unknown constant plus 1 on the end. So I hope you found this video useful just to introduce the topic of differential equations and how we can solve some simple differential equations in this form, these first order differential equations. In following videos, we're going to look at different forms of first order differential equations, and we're also going to start to look at second order differential equations as well.